I'm so happy that you're here with me today because I have a really fun video for you. I have been really splurging on clothes lately. Actually, I had planned to buy quite a few things and I fulfilled my promise on that. And I have things from a variety of different price ranges. Most of the stuff is from Zara or H&M. I've got a few things from H&M. I've got a few other higher end retailers as well that I hope to show you. And I have a ton of jeans from Zara. So do stick around to the end because most of the jeans will be at the end of the video. And while we all used to be wearing skinnies only and a lot of dark wash colors, now the colors are all over the spectrum. I'm getting into lighter washes, which is kind of fun. And there are baggy jeans, there are cargo jeans, there are slit hem jeans, a full range of jeans. Now let's get into this video and let's look at some fashion. Okay, this is the first outfit I'll be showing you and I really like it. And you let me know in the comment section if you like it too. It has a very glam vibe to it, I think, a very palazzo pants vibe to it. But this is a white Zara bodysuit and I love these. I have two in white and two in black. And if you get tired of the snapping feature that you have to do, this is really just a shirt. You can just not snap it and just put it down there. And unless you're in a windstorm and you're, you know, putting your arms up in the air a lot, you're probably going to be just fine. But anyway, look at these wild pants. These are cargo pants, they're called. And of course they are cargos. They have the little silver buttons everywhere and huge pockets, but these aren't for hammers the way they used to be. But look at that. That is really, really, really interesting. And I have it with some wonderful clear plastic shoes and these are super, super comfortable. I had some last year from The Drop on Amazon and they looked good, but they were not comfortable. And these are super comfortable. Love them, but look at this. Let me know in the comment section what you think. I think it is kind of dramatic and kind of hippie-like and kind of fun. Now, next I have a Barbie t-shirt, which I got from Amazon, really love that. I have the mom jeans on from Zara and also the leather sneakers from Zara. And I think this is darling. And let me just give you a general tip on how not to look matronly in this sort of thing. Right here, this is hitting me at my hips and I look like I'm, you know, matronly. There's no doubt about it. Just do a little tuck right here, which everybody knows about the tuck, but it's easy to forget in a t-shirt or something like that. And if you do the tuck, you just look a bit more fashion forward a bit more like you tried and a bit more stylish. Okay, now in this one, I bought a t-shirt from Everlane. In fact, I have this in two different versions, not two versions, I have two white ones and I need to get a black one, but Everlane tees are wonderful. It's still wrinkly, I just got it out of the package yesterday, but it is a very thick cotton and it tends to hold its shape, unlike a lot of t-shirts. Really do like that, and that is a fantastic base. Everybody needs good t-shirts, whites, and blacks in their wardrobe, so I really do love that tee. And I have it paired with the Zara regular fit high waist jeans, and quite honestly, until now, I really didn't have any high waist jeans. So this is kind of a new thing for me to go the high waist, but I really like it. And then I have it paired with these wonderful Zara clear little sandals. I purchased a very similar sandal with the clear straps, from Amazon last year from their brand, The Drop, and I bought it in several different clear colors, but they were not comfortable. But these are actually very comfortable, and I think these sandals are very versatile because you can wear them with the longer length jeans, and everything is longer length out there right now, and a little oversized baggy fit, but they go with pretty much everything, and I love them. Now let me go ahead and show you an Everlane blazer that I that I purchased. Okay, here's a look at that tan-colored Everlane blazer, and I have it with the same jeans I had on last time in the clear, strappy plastic shoes, which actually feel very good on my feet. But here is this blazer, and I think it is absolutely great quality. It is a lined blazer, very, very well made. The buttons are well sewn on. It is the oversized kind of man's look blazer, but yet it is not too oversized, so it looks awful and baggy and saggy. I think this one is a size small. I'll link it below. It is super good quality, and when you buy from Everlane, you're going to have it in your closet for a good long time. Okay, I really do like this next outfit. This is again the great Everlane tee, very nice quality tee, and I have it paired with Sofia Vergara jeans, and these are the dark wash flare jeans, and they fit like a glove. They're amazing. They get like five-star reviews all over Walmart, and I have bought Walmart jeans in the past, and they tend to wash up and do very well. I don't know yet how these will wash, but I think they're absolutely darling, and they do fit beautifully. 
Then I have it paired with a really cool belt from Zara. It is a 100% leather belt with this great brass buckle. It is a wrap belt and it was a little more expensive, but I really think it is worth it to have those pieces that are kind of statement pieces and really kind of make the outfit because this is just a t-shirt and jeans, but with the addition of the belt, it looks really pretty upscale. Okay, next I have something I absolutely love that has been on my list for a long time. I bought a moto jacket at Nordstrom's maybe a year and a half ago, and unfortunately, I think I got an extra small or a small, but it just was too tight, and so I never really wore it. And I found this one at Zara, and I did get this in a small and a medium to see which worked best, and actually for me, the small worked best, but it is a faux leather biker jacket. And I love this thing. It has all the beautiful silver hardware, lots of zippers. Every zipper came totally covered up and protected. It has a little belt around it, which I probably wouldn't belt, but I absolutely love this thing. And again, I have it with that Everlane tee, and I can't emphasize enough how important it is to have a good quality tee because it totally elevates your outfit. If you just had a little cheap Amazon tee, I don't know that you could pull this off in terms of an outfit. But speaking of Amazon, I do have one of my favorite finds from Amazon. And these are the Amazon black jeggings. And I continue to love them. And you can get away with a skinny look. Even though skinny is not totally in, you can get away with a skinny look as long as you don't really use the things we used to wear with the skinnies, which are the little ankly boots. And these are a little higher than that. I just got them. They're Franco Sarto leather boots from DSW. I'll try to link them below. They were on sale, hopefully. They will still be available, but I think they're darling. Okay, in this next outfit, I have an oversized sweater from Zara. Love the stripes. I'm really into striped sweaters lately. I must have bought three or four of them. I think I went a little wild on the stripes, but I like the oversized nature of it, and it is a spring weight knit. It is not real heavy, and there it is. It's a little longer in the back, so you can see the true length of it. I have it paired with the Amazon jeggings, and then I have it paired with these beautiful shoes from Zara, with the little gold buckles, kind of an alligator look. I think it's faux leather, but since the shoes are so open, I don't have a problem with them. Usually I do like to wear leather. So anyway, that is that outfit. And I think this is a great sweater because you can get use out of it in the spring. And then again, next winter. I still have on the same top, the same little bodysuit. And these are called the relaxed selvage jeans for whatever reason, I don't know what that means. And I have them again on with those great little clear plastic sandals, which I think are wonderful but I really kind of like these. However, I do have the tag still on because I have a two coming in this because I'm just not sure. These are fours, which is my normal size, but I'm not sure if these are baggy, the way baggy should be, or if they are a little bit too baggy and it might be nice to have things a little bit tighter around there. I'll get those Monday, but in the meantime, I wanted to do this video and show them to you but I really kind of like this look. These big baggy jeans do remind me so much of when we were in high school. I think that was about the last time such baggies were really in style, but I just think they're relaxed and really casual looking, and they look like you didn't try very hard, kind of have that hippie, easygoing vibe, and I really do like that, kind of that boho chic thing. Okay, this next outfit is a sweatshirt that I got from H&M the other day. Love it, it says Yale, so I look really smart when I wear this. And I had gotten a hooded sweatshirt, a hoodie from, from H&M that said Harvard, and I'm still wearing it two years later. It is a wonderful quality item, and I think this will be too. I have it with the mom jeans I showed you earlier. However, they're actually from H&M, I forgot. These were the first jeans that I, that I wore. And sometimes it's nice to, to half tuck your sweatshirt. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And I have it on with the white leather sneakers from Zara. And anymore, people are wearing tons of sneakers everywhere of all colors. But I think every woman needs basically a black color to go with your darker jeans and then the lighter color to go with lighter jeans. And people even wear them with pants. And I think it's a good look. Okay, these are the Zara high-waisted baggies and they are very baggy. And again, I have them on with the clear shoes, which I think helps. I also have that black leather Zara belt on, and I think it really adds something nice. I have the bodysuit on, but this time in black. And again, this is super versatile. I think you would get a ton of wear out of this. I think these may be my favorite baggies. And again, I'm not taking off the tag because I've got the size twos coming. These are size fours. 
but I think these are probably fine and I really do kind of like them. Let me know in the comment section if you are liking baggies for yourself or if you're not liking them. Okay, now I have that black bodysuit with a pair of Zara straight leg jeans and I think they look baggy to me. I'm kind of surprised. Their regular fit is what they call them, but everything's a little baggier now and I actually really do like these. I think they look like baggies even though they call them regular fit. I have that Ralph Lauren belt, the leather belt that I told you about that I bought from Dillard's. And I have that reversed to show the black side instead of the cognac side. And then I have these little shoes on from Zara and I really just love them. They are so cute, a little bit upscale looking with that gold detail. Zara's shoes are always really, really in depth and kind of interesting looking. But I really do like this outfit and I think it is super casual. You would look like you didn't try very hard, but yet you still will look fashionable. Okay, I absolutely love this Zara blazer and they do great blazers. And I think this was on sale for like $69 and I think they still have it. But unfortunately, this is an extra small and it is too small. And I really do need the small and I've ordered that. I hope the small is big enough because I think they were out of the medium. But I think that is absolutely beautiful. It is very textured, appears very good quality. The buttons are really sewn on well. I think I would get a ton of use out of this. Plus the fact that it's got black is super helpful too because we all wear a lot of black. Also, they had this in a beautiful green color and I went ahead and ordered that one too. So it is coming in the small. I think that's what they had. So anyway, I'll link that below, but I think that is absolutely very smart looking. Okay, this video has gotten a little bit long and so I'll do a very short thought for the day for you. And this is something that I saw in a YouTube video. I can't remember who it was. I think it was in a seminar. They were, they were mentioning this, but it talked about that we really do need to think at all times of increasing our vibration. And when we are happy, when we are in a good mood, when we're grateful, that is the highest vibration we can have. And it said that when you start out your day, basically start by getting yourself in one of those grateful, filled up, high energy moods, raise your vibration, and then try to stay in that higher vibration that I'm having fun, I'm having a good time, I'm enjoying life vibration as much as you can for 30 days. And I just started it this morning and I have to say, I did a little gratitude shower this morning and that is where you go, oh, let's see, what are the things I'm grateful for? I'm grateful that I'm in this wonderful shower, for instance, I love that. I'm grateful that I'm getting my living room furniture painted. I'm grateful that I have Allie in the kitchen drinking coffee and that I get to go sit with him and drink coffee on and on and on. But when you're grateful and when you feel good and you're happy, that is raising your vibration. And this video suggested we do it for 30 days and I've decided to try it out. And I have to say that so far today it is working and I'm feeling great. So if you'd like to join me in getting happier and more grateful and raising your vibrations, let's do it for 30 days and let me know in the comments section if you plan to join me. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.